Well, today I'm here at Riverside Radio in Southwest London. I'm so excited because I'm here with Lucy Ellen today as part of the Riverside Sunday Breakfast Show. I'm excited to answer all different types of questions and I'm doing a live performance, so make sure to stay tuned to watch. And yeah, let's go. Switch on Southwest London. You're on Riverside Radio. Riverside Breakfast for Southwest London on Riverside Radio. Good morning. It is 8.07 a.m. on Sunday the 17th of October. You are listening to Sunday Breakfast on Riverside Radio and this morning it is a delight to have young Athena join me. Hi, <laughs> I'm so excited show. to be here. It's an absolute delight to be here on Riverside Radio. It is great young Athena to have you here thank you for joining me so early and we have so much to chat about I'm so excited and I'm so glad to be here early it was so nice to get here while it was a little bit dark in the morning and now we're here <laughs> thankfully it's a little bit warmer outside but I'm so excited to be here it is a lovely morning night the last 12 months young Athena has seen your musical journey propel to brand new heights it's been so astonishing and I can't wait to touch upon all of that um, also of course we are going to be delving into the inspiration behind your tracks and I thought we would kick things off with your single Need to Know Riverside Breakfast for Southwest London Need to Know and Young Athena is of course live with me right here Hi. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here and that was so crazy hearing my track just playing I can't believe it it's actually quite weird listening to my voice I just think who who is that when I see young <laughs> Athena I just can't believe it so thank you so much for playing me to know it is an absolute pleasure and like I was saying to you that is the first of many many radio plays for sure now what a fun track young Athena and I think it's great as well because your music, very diverse messages, and it's great this morning. We have two more, um, again, which really touch upon different messages. But yes, need to know. I know it's one of your favourites. Mm -hmm. It's fun, it's upbeat. Tell us a little bit about it and what the production process was like. So, Need to Know is definitely one of my favourite tracks. I love the fact that it's kind of cute and quirky, and it's speaking about super gossips and just about rumours. And I think everyone in life faces a time where they come across someone who's spreading loads of crazy rumors where they just think how did that how did anyone even come up with that when it came to the production process it originally was a song that was part of an instagram live challenge and yes. well, an instagram challenge and it was really fun to write and to hear how it's gone from the instagram challenge to now need to know being played on riverside radio it's really quite cool and quite crazy <laughs> and thoroughly deserved may i add what advice would you have for perhaps any one hmm. of your age who are still finding things difficult and adjusting to you hmm. know that sense of normality approaching so I definitely think a piece of advice that I would give is take a second to understand a little bit more about yourself and use this time to really look at the things you enjoy in life and the things that are important to you and really hone in on those skills and um, I definitely think that the period of time for me it's been music and for others it could have been dance for others it could have been art and it's definitely just about understanding yourself really knowing more about who you are and learning more about what makes you happy and then yeah just working towards that don't let anyone tell you no and keep just keep working hard and doing what makes you happy young Athena I literally could not agree with you more and we are in for a real treat because now with a live performance of her stunning track beautifully crushed petals it is young Athena live right here swimming in drowning waters and that's given birth to life it's like wanting more It's like being chained to the bottom of the ocean But feeling free as a bird It's like having a big mouth But never being a hurt It's like being the odd one out But blending in with the old You always are told to stop 
be somebody else You're your own actor Know that you're tough It's like being chained to the bottom of the ocean But feeling free as a bird It's like having a big mouth But never being heard As the words fall from your mouth Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what a voice. Just as expected, an incredible live performance. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I mean, as I was saying to you just prior to the show as well, Young Athena, Beautifully Crushed Petals is my favourite track of yours. I think it is so powerful on so many levels. And yeah, let's get right in to those incredible lyrics because I think there's there are um, particular lyrics in that mm. that um, song which I think are extremely striking so mm. um, you talk about being chained to the ocean but yeah mm. as free as a bird so that lyric for me represents many different things but when you go underwater um, the further you go down the more pressure um, you have above you and that can sometimes represent life that it can seem the more things you're going through the more pressure you feel on your shoulders and the more you can feel weighed down and chained to the bottom of the ocean and that line is like being chained to the bottom of the ocean but feeling free as a bird means that you can feel chained and feel so much pressure on you but the moment that you realize that a lot of it can be mentality and you can change your outlook on things and change the negativity to positivity and things like that is when the pressure is released and your wings open up and you're able to soar in the sky just as free as a bird even sometimes when you can feel hours before or days before as if you're chained to the bottom of the ocean as i say young athena so powerful and i know for certain that every single person will be able to resonate with that on some level and it really does explore um the power of the mind mm. and also how emotions and feelings can and will change even mm. at some points if it doesn't feel like it and certain emotions can be very all-consuming mm. and i think as well you know well I, I shouldn't say i think because undoubtedly in life um because that is life it's never a straight line we mm. are all going to be hit with highs and lows Definitely. in between. Life is a roller coaster, Definitely. as they say. But the fact that you produced and wrote this track at the age of 11, I mean, <laughs> it's just... And then that again, Young Athena, it just ties in to a big belief I have that edge is only a number. Mm -hmm. um, I think no one should ever underplay anyone's emotions regardless of edge. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that you created at that. How do you feel when you are listening back to the track now? So for me, every time I perform and listen to the track, it means something different to me, which is quite beautiful. And every time I've spoken to people who have listened to it, they have different definitions and meanings and different feelings towards it. And for me now, listening to it, I think it highlights a lot of the different things you feel kind of at the age of 11 and 12 and when you're unsure of all different things that are changing and even when you leave primary school and you change in so many different situations that your emotions can feel conflicting they can juxtapose sometimes and yeah the song for me now still resonates with things I'm going through and that is definitely something that I love about the song and something that I'm thankful for the song because I believe that all songs have a soul so Absolutely. I'm I'm very thankful for that because I'm still able to learn from the lyrics all the way from when I was 11 and that is just so beautiful in itself and i mean just to say again your voice just 
to say oh, thank you so much thank you so much um, and so special to share that with you um, this morning and to share it with all of our listeners for South West London on Riverside Radio good morning 8.52am now on Sunday the 17th of October Young Athena still live with Hello. me in the studio. <laughs> and uh, just uh, fantastic to have you here Young Athena and um Busy, busy times ahead. So live shows are back, which is just fantastic. Amazing. Thank and goodness. <laughs> you have your first headline show upcoming yeah. uh, in a matter of weeks, really, on the mm. 14th of December. Yeah. Tell us all. So I'm absolutely just so excited to do this um, show it will be on December 14th I'm you can find all the information that will be coming out on my social media it's definitely something which I felt a little bit nervous about and I think it's so good because I want to be able to go there and give everyone coming to watch my all so make sure everyone listening follow my social media to check out all the information about it that will be coming out soon it's something that I have not done before a headline show but it's definitely something that is making me so excited every day I'm thinking about it and I can't wait to just put on an absolute show <laughs> and we cannot wait either and do stay connected with young Athena to find out all the latest about that so coming up now extremely soon playing your track wrong and right which again like all of your material has such a powerful message and I think it's just so interlinked with um, you as an artist of course and your whole inspirational message of finding mm. your authentic self which is a journey mm. and, you know I think and to be honest that's something that's ever evolving for everyone mm -hmm. but to be true to yourself to go for what you want and yes um, tell us a little bit about then the process behind Wrong and Right. So Wrong and Right is a song to me that means a lot because it talks about feelings and thoughts that I felt and thought about before and I definitely will in the future and it's kind of just talking about some things yeah I don't know the difference between wrong and right and life is a journey about finding things that feel maybe wrong or right and and sometimes it isn't either wrong or right sometimes it is the way it is but that song definitely highlights the kind of unsure stuff in life that sometimes crosses your mind and it's just put down into a song so I hope that people are able to relate to it as much as I can I don't doubt it for, an, uh, for a second and here it is, it is Young Athena's Wrong and Right. Riverside Breakfast for South West London on Riverside Radio. Wrong and Right by Young Athena and Young Athena, it has just been so great to have you here live this morning and I just have thoroughly enjoyed discussing your entire musical journey to Dia and huge congratulations on everything which you have achieved. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure being here and it's such a great opportunity to be able to come on here with you this morning, Lucy, on the Riverside Sunday Breakfast Show and talk about my music and play it to the listeners. So thank you so much and a huge thank you to the Riverside Radio team. It is our pleasure. It really, really is. And you can, as I was saying, if you're not already, you can stay connected with Young Athena across her socials. And as she was saying, super exciting headline gig coming up on the 14th of December as well as lots, lots more. And you can follow on Instagram at young underscore Athena, on Twitter at young underscore Athena underscore cannot wait <laughs> for all the upcoming material and performances um thank you so much again thank you so much for having me lucy and i hope you have a great sunday as well and uh, you can of course stay connected with us as well at river at this is riverside across our socials assay and fleur are up next with a sunday joy and yes i will look forward to seeing you next week have a great day and young athena as as i said thank you again thank you so much bye bye riverside breakfast for South West London on Riverside Radio. Riverside Breakfast.